YouTube, I'm gonna start this video off by telling you guys, today, I'm supposed to be getting a haircut. All right, now let's get to the video. <laughs> Yo, so uh, today, I'm gonna be reacting to a barber or hairstylist. He definitely started off, I feel like, as a hairstylist when I was first doing my YouTube channel. I remember we had like the same amount of subscribers. All of a sudden, he just took off. Like I'm talking about, like in one year, a few hundred thousand subscribers. I remember watching his videos back then, but I hadn't watched his videos in a really long time. It's been a while. And guys, I went to the page after one of y'all's recommendations in the comment section, and I gotta tell you, this man's progress. He has gotten so good at cutting hair i'm just gonna show you guys his page and i'm gonna show you guys the before and then the after all right so the person we're reacting to is kochi i think that's how the name is kochi yo right off the rip seeing this haircut this haircut the crop like look at the shape here look at this look at the crop here that looks super super blurry i'm impressed look at the shape of this cut right here look at this i don't know which one i want to watch first but guys like let me filter his first his oldest videos and we all have made progress i'm talking about fades like his fades back then were not like i wouldn't watch him to watch his fades. i would watch him to watch his sheer work Like, that's an okay fade. See what I'm saying? Like, the cut was cool. It was cool. But now I'm seeing his cuts and they're looking like, like they're crazy. But now, let's check out his his newest stuff. Because it look like he got bangers. Which one should we watch first, guys? I really like this cut right here. This cut is crazy to me. The production, the music. Look, look, look. Got that Josh and Monica section guide going on. <laughs> Beat hitting. So y'all remember watching MC Barber last. MC wasn't doing this. <laughs> but he was getting the job done. Alright, some cross graduation. This is something that I was teaching two years ago when we dropped foundations. I just don't get these cuts that often, but I teach this cut in my class, in my online course. It's interesting to me because he's kind of over directing the hair and he isn't just over directing it forward, kind of shifting it just a bit, but it's still gonna come out fire. So is he over directing this over to his previous cut or all the way down? Yeah, it looks like he's, he's over directing it all the way down to what looks like section four, section five. He's just pulling it all down and that's gonna allow him to keep all this weight here in the back. All right, so that's his guideline. And now he's gonna use that for reference of the shape. He's more worried about the shape than the length, guys. Oh wait, this is not Kochi. Is that Kochi? I don't think that's Kochi. Unless my man's got the beard now. I'm missing something. All right, now he's doing block graduation. He's connecting what wants to fall over to the sides. He's connecting to the sides using block graduation. And he's doing it like a quarter section at a time. So to me, techniques like this is the difference between like a Josh O.P. or an MC Barber. Where like Josh O.P. would just take all that hair, over direct it, make sure he has good even tension and just go for it. Cut it. And then refine it afterwards. MC Barber would just pull all that over, probably use his razor to blend it in. Or probably just take vertical sections and just, just cut squared. And then guys like him and I feel like LaMonica, they're so tedious. They're so so detail-oriented that they want everything, every cut to be on point. So they take quarter sections of everything before they build up their shape. That's looking good. Now you got to cut the, the shape on top. It's going to be a beautiful day. I'm waving all my cares away. So you're going triangular. By cutting it triangular, he's leaving enough length in the front to sit on what's in the back. You don't want the back to be longer than the front. I'm waving all my cares away, and I ain't got time to be down. I'm living that carefree life. Oh, it's gonna be a beautiful day, and I 
I love it. I love the way he's cutting. He got his own products now. Yeah, that's Coach. He's just rocking the beard. It's gonna come out fire. Once he blow dries it, it's gonna come out crazy. It's interesting how he's blow drying the sides like that, but the middle's still wet. Yeah, I usually will blast through the, the top first and then start doing the sides so that I can build it on top of dry hair. Scissors over comb, pretty much cross-checking. Wonder why he's taking so much hair off when he cross-checks. That UK vibe right there. If you guys like this style of cutting hair, I gotta show y'all some of my friends in Russia. I gotta show y'all Joshua P. Like, I've been learning from these guys since three years ago when I first went to Russia and the UK and stuff. Ever since then, I was obsessed with scissor work. That's why I really started working on my scissor work, working on mannequins and stuff. Took a lot of their classes, a lot of their hands-on courses to get better myself. So if you're impressed by this right here, I gotta show you guys like Vadim, like um, Joshua P. Like there's a lot of crazy good barbers. Um, La Monica, crazy good barbers that are just ridiculous when it comes to shape and shear work and texture and, and styling. They're just ridiculous. <laughs> Oh yeah, alright, let's Five. And that's it, hold on. There's a before. That was the fastest before and after <laughs> I've ever seen. But it was fire, fire. Let's see what the comment section says. Fire cut, I appreciate haircuts like that. Some of y'all don't get it, but I love it. Couldn't say anything, you're just wild. You're my idol. Look at my boy. From ugly to presentable. Man, you guys don't hold back. A lot of you guys don't know I'll be having to hide you from the channel because I'm not going to have no, uh, no models to cut with all the mean things y'all be saying in the comment section. That wasn't mean. Some of y'all are mean. That wasn't mean. Imagine cutting this style by yourself. Your arms will end up being numb. Yeah, if you try to do a self-cut like that, first of all, you're not doing it. It requires too much precision. It requires how much tension you put on the ha hair, how you're moving the hair. You got to rely on guides and sections. And these guides, you probably won't be able to see. You know what I'm saying? So don't even try it. All right, let's look at, let's look at a fade. Let's look at a blurry. It's all, I already know this is going to come out fire because his guides are perfect. They're clean. You can clearly see them. He's got enough width on each of his sections that he's going to be able to create a blurry fade. I already know. Yeah, that's coming out. Blurry. You know what I like about Coachy too, bro? Like, he is definitely, the way he presents himself, his studio and salon, whatever he likes to call it, or barbershop, is beautiful. Like, from what I used to watch a year or two years ago, it was inspiring to see his shop, the way it looked. And I believe at the time he was like in a mall when I used to watch him. Look, and he's not afraid to use different tools, like blending shears. Look how that blending shear just brings that bulk in. Very nice. The shape of this cut is gonna be fire. My man has become a monster. He's an entrepreneur. He's got his own products. He's got his own businesses. Killing it. Let's see what the after looks like. Ooh. Ooh. That's clean. Love it. Love the shape. Very nice. They got other sides of it. Is he show cutting the, the back and the other side? He only shows one side of the cut, but that's only because it's a five minute long video. Either way, it looked amazing. Looked dope. Very nice. Let's see what the comment section talking about. Wish you showed the beard trim. Yeah, that last tutorial, he was he showed like everything. It was in like an 11, 12 minute cut, but this one was, was short. Still amazing to watch. I wish he would show like a tour of his spot. He get crazy views too. Well deserved. Right, I feel like this is gonna show. Let me see. Let's see if this shows his spot a little bit more. Yeah, look at the background. It's it's like a movie studio. <laughs> look at the colors and stuff. So it's more like a salon vibe. But damn it, it looks like money. You know what I mean? If you ask the price, you're not walking in there. That's what that place looks like. The song is dope, but I don't want to get copyright. Yo, they colored his hair and everything. 
Now look. I think that's his wife. I might risk the copyright. <laughs> that's dope, man. Yo, that's Kochi, and I really hope I've been saying the name right. Please don't be mad at me if I haven't been. Yeah, so that's Kochi, guys. If you're not subscribed to him already, I'd be surprised. He's at 700, almost 700,000 subscribers. Definitely subscribe to him. Check him out. It's inspiring what he does, and his techniques are on point. He's constantly learning. That's why I wanted to show the before and the after, guys. Like, I wanted to show how much he's grown. Not just, like, technique-wise, but did you see his, where he cuts hair? Like, everything. Thing, the way he presents himself the dude is a massive inspiration i think for a lot of people and uh, i hope he continues to keep crushing it man got his own products and all that good stuff so if you're not subscribed to coachy man what you doing bro you're not trying to grow you're not trying to get better you just want to want to watch a couple youtubers you want, you want to expand your horizons i'm messing but real talk guys thank you guys so much for watching another video i hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something from it and um if you're new to the channel do hit the subscribe button we drop in daily content every single day we drop in something um, tomorrow, I'll definitely be posting one of my own tutorials, I believe. And uh, we're just going to keep this daily grind going. And if you guys don't mind, please do hit the like button. Love y'all. See you in the next video.